Hey all, this is Mike the Scrapper. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get the gold from green fiber CPUs. Please use caution when working with the items you will see in this video. Do this project outside or use a fume hood. Keep away from animals and people. Do not inhale the fumes or ingest any of the chemicals. The purpose of this video is to show you how to extract the gold, not how much money I made doing this. For this video, I'm going to use 50 green fiber CPUs. Some are Pentium 3s, AMDs, and so on. In the photos, you'll only see 49. That is because I already started and this is number 50. I broke this video into three phases. Phase one will show what tools are needed to remove the pins from the CPU. Phase two will show the acid and other items needed to extract the gold from the pins as well as safety. Phase three will end how to get 99.5% pure gold out of the CPU pins using two acids and other items to ensure you get the most out of your project. For phase one, you'll need green fiber CPUs with pins. To remove the pins, you will also need vice grips, a heat gun, a deep dish of some sort or a bucket, some sheets of paper and tweezers. The sheets of paper and tweezers are to separate the gold pins from the monolithic capacitors. So let's get started. Now weighing my gold plated pins, I have 3.19 ounces. For phase two, you will need your gold plated pins, three beakers, a hot plate or a coffee maker, chemical resistant gloves, goggles, coffee filters and strainer, hydrochloric acid, or as we call it, muriatic acid. A wash bottle or spray bottle is also needed. For this phase, I'm going to use 300 milliliters of muriatic acid or hydrochloric acid. Then I'm just going to place it in another beaker with my CPU pins. Here you can instantly see the reaction. Now I'm going to place my beaker on my coffee maker to speed up the process. What you're seeing 
is just one chemical, muriatic acid. Now I'm gonna pour the liquid through the coffee filter and strainer to only collect the gold foils. Here I'm using a spray bottle to try to collect some more foils from the pins. If you don't get them all, it's okay, you can use it in your next batch. Now you see the gold foil and some other debris that is ready for phase three. For the final phase of this project, you will need safety glasses, chemical resistant gloves, coffee filters and strainer, water bottle, beakers, gold foil, coffee maker or hot plate, measuring spoons. As for the chemicals, you will need nitric acid, hydrochloric acid, urea, and a product called SMB. So what I'm doing here is just using my water bottle and rinsing off all the gold and all the debris off the coffee filter and into a beaker. Next, we're going to mix muriatic or hydrochloric acid and nitric acid together. By doing this, you'll create a new chemical called aqua regia, which is also called royal water. Now I'm going to use 60 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Next, I'm gonna use 60 milliliters of nitric acid. Now you can see the yellow, which is gold, and the rest of that debris, we're gonna to have to filter that out. Now we're gonna use this filter, and as we're pouring everything out, the debris will stay on the top, and the gold will go down to the bottom of the beaker.
and now I'm just gonna wash out this beaker to maybe get any little pieces of gold that are left. Now we're gonna add urea, which will neutralize the acid. You might have to put this in a few times to make sure the acid has been neutralized completely. Next, we're gonna add a product called SMB. Now, if you don't add enough urea, you'll get this reaction. Then you'll have to add more urea later. Now I added more water to mix with the urea to help neutralize the acid. Now as you can see here, if you do everything correctly with the SMB, this should be your final stage. See the brown on the bottom? That's your actual gold. And now you just let this sit overnight and all the gold should go to the bottom where you can actually filter it again and put it in a furnace. Once the gold settles to the bottom, use a strainer and a coffee filter to pour out the contents. Use a wash bottle to make sure you get everything out of the beaker and into the coffee filter. That should be pure gold, 99.5%. I don't have my scale, the batteries actually died on it to show you how much gold I have here, but I should estimate about $15 to $20. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, the purpose of this video is to show you how to do it, not how much money I made.